Well, there could soon be more traffic on Davis Islands, but not from cars. Our Carson Chambers shows us the loophole hundreds of people are hoping to create for just their neighborhood. Golf carts are popular on Davis Island. They always have been, actually. But now people want to be able to drive them legally on the street. This is a noise you may be hearing more and more. I bought this about two months ago. On Davis Islands. The uh, cities that have already done this have established standards. In most cases, um, they insist that the driver have a valid driver's license. His golf cart is how retiree Harold Moore prefers to get around. He's got a petition going, hundreds of signatures, to get golf carts street legal in his neighborhood and plans on taking the idea to Tampa City Council. The big thing with, with Davis Island is we're almost like a self-sustained community, and so we have that ability to not be on major roads. Davis Boulevard is only 35 miles per hour, back roads even slower. So it makes sense for realtor Kristen Fidel to take his customers on open-air tours. With like something like this, We've actually modified it, so you have a, uh, a horn, you have lights, you have seat belts. Some small communities like St. Pete Beach and Pasigrill are designated golf course communities. But some neighbors are concerned that'll mean irresponsible drivers. I think the biggest, the biggest thing that we always want to be uh, cognizant of is, you know, the age of the drivers. You can sign that petition online or you can contact your Tampa City Council member with any concerns. In Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.